Welcome back, Sethling here. I wanted to show off a couple of filters that I had just lying around, and one that I actually wrote uh, due to popular demand. And so the, there's three filters in this video. The first one is an enchantment filter, the second one is going to be custom beacons, and the third one is a block randomization filter. So the first thing, of course, here is the uh, is the enchantment thing. So this diamond pickaxe has enchantments that you couldn't possibly get by actually enchanting a pickaxe. All you have to do to run the filter is just go ahead and select a region with chests in it and apply the filter and any items that are in chests or dispensers in that region will get whatever enchantment you selected, whatever level you selected. So very easy to use and yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, the beacon filter, you can go ahead and select a uh, an effect and a level. Um, now the level is for the beacon, so that affects what the radius uh, the radius is, and I'm not actually sure that it's uh, really effective in doing that. But you can see I have this weakness effect on me. Weakness is not an effect you can normally get in here. Uh, in fact, it's, I think it's a little bit confused about you know <laughs> what it has. But you can only get um, effects up to level two. Basically, you can select a primary effect and a secondary effect, and if those effects are the same thing then you get a level 2 effect. But this is just level 1 weakness here. So yeah, you just apply the filter to any beacons in the selection and it'll give it a custom effect. Very easy to use as well. Uh, the third filter here is something that's a bit more useful for custom map makers if you just want some um, some aesthetic looks, certain aesthetic looks. Uh, it's a block randomization filter. So basically what it, what it does is you select a region and what I did was I selected this block all the way over to here. First I filled it in with stone brick because that was my kind of a base material. Then I used my filter to randomly fill it in with uh, cracked stone brick and mossy stone brick and the patterned stone brick. So what the filter allows you to do is it says how frequent, frequent you want the block to be. So for instance, for these block types, I selected uh, one in every 16 blocks should be a mossy. And then when I ran the filter later, I said one in every 16 blocks should be cracked. And then I did it for the pattern one. And, uh, and so that's, that's just completely random. Uh, you can also, there's an option in the filter to only replace blocks of certain types. So if you have an existing terrain say, uh, well, this isn't a good example because I'm in my big sandstone world, but say you had a big chunk of stone, you could randomly replace some of those blocks of stone with, say, a monster egg block, which is the uh, silverfish block. So you could put in random little bits of, of silverfish into your stone and it would be <laughs> kind of evil. Um, but yeah, the, the fill, in, it's kind of got like a, a fill and a replace function, but it does it randomly. It doesn't do it every single block. So, pretty useful for map makers, I would say. Uh, I, uh, I, I know I, I showed it to Vex and he was pretty excited about it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there you go. So, three new filters. Feel free to download them from the link in the video description. And thanks for watching.